everybody, so I picked up a new hobby lately and I've been in a pretty crafty booth so join me and I'm going to show you guys how to make an adorable needle felt of poodle plushie. It's super addictive because it's so fun and easy to do, no sewing is required, even it reminds me of little Delmo. They make me so happy. Alright, so you're going to need some felting wool and you can find this in your local knitting supply store or even the craft store and pick a colour you want your poodle to be and you'll need some black for the details and also some pink for the tongue. You'll need a felty needle because you're going to be stabbing the felt and because you're going to be stabbing you don't want to scratch your table surface so have some type of sponge or foam pad or even a polyester to work on. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the felting wool and I'm just going to roll it with my fingers almost as if I'm making a little ball. So once I'm happy with the amount I'm just going to separate it with my fingers. So you guys can see that we have some loose ends here and this is where you start pricking because you want to secure this part. So grabbing my felting needle, I'm just going to stab this area and secure these ends. And it's going to make the felt tangle up and it's going to secure everything together. So right now it looks kind of formless. All you need to do is just keep manipulating it by pricking it. And you want to be very very careful because you don't want to stab yourself. So now you guys can see it has become nice and round and dense. Now I'm just going to grab a similar amount of felting wool, um, a little bit more, but this time instead of making a spear, I'm going to make it look more like a, like a shape of a grenade, if that makes sense. So it's actually pretty relaxing doing this, but I don't recommend you to do this when you're furious or trying to take your anger out because you will only hurt yourself, literally. You guys can see I really left the top kind of fluffy. I didn't prick it too much because I'm going to join up the head later. Now moving on, I'm going to grab a little bit of the felting wool and roll it into a shape of a kidney bean. And this is going to be the snout. Now we're going to need the lower snout as you guys can see right here. So I'm going to make some sort of a small semi-circle flap. So again, being very careful, I'm going to start stabbing away. The really awesome thing about needle felting is you don't need to sew. I hate sewing. It's so hard and it takes forever. So I have the head, the body, upper snipe and lower snipe. Now it's time to make the hind legs. For the hind legs, again, you want to make it into the shape of a kidney bean and of course you're going to need two of them. Now I'm going to make the front legs slightly longer and skinnier and of course you're going to need two again. And the last part before we begin to assemble everything together, I'm just going to take a small piece of pink wool and uh, just prick it into a little tongue. I'm going to start off by joining the head and the snout first, so decide where you want it to be positioned. And then with the needle, I'm just going to prick the edges repeatedly. So imagine the areas you would sew if you were sewing, and it should stick nicely. Grabbing the lower snout, I just position where I want it to be, and again, I'm just going to combine it by stabbing the edges. Next up, time to attach the tongue. Now, attaching the hind legs to the body, and then adding the front legs, just pressing it in front of the body. So now I'm ready to attach the head. Now I'm going to grab some loose uh, felting wool first and I'm going to pop it on top and this is going to help the whole thing stick. Position where you want the head to be and again start attaching everything by stabbing it. To make the eyes you can really just grab a little bit of the black felt, roll it in your fingers to make little balls for the eyes. But since I have these little um, button eyes I might as well use them. So I'm just going to prick a hole with my needle and uh, just going to pop in these eyes. going to make sure everything looks even. So I'm happy with how it looks, so I'm going to pop out the eyes for now. And then taking a little bit of glue, I'm just going to fill in the little holes first. And again, pop the eyes in so they're nice and secure. And this makes the eyes look extra twinkly. Grabbing the black felt, I'm going to roll it into a little ball and position it with the little nose. Now, again, I'm just going to prick it, and while I'm pricking, I'm going to manipulate it so it looks more like a dog nose, so kind of like an upside down triangle. And taking more of that felt, roll it my fingers, and uh, I'm just going to prick this around the eyes, so it makes the eyes like more puppyish and more sparkly and innocent. Taking more of the felt, I'm going to bring it from the nose, move it downwards, and I'm going to make it look as if it's smiling, so wrap it um, around the tongue as well to give it a bit of more life. 
I'm taking very small pieces of felt. I'm just going to roll them with my fingertips to make these little balls. And I'm just going to position them um, on top of the poodle's head. So it makes it look as if it's got curly hair. And just keep doing this all around the head and even the back as well. To make the poodle ears, you want to especially bunch these little cotton balls together so it looks flappy and cute. So I want the snout to look kind of curly as well, so I'm just going to add some of these little balls and a snout. Here I'm just rolling a pea-sized ball and attaching as the tail. So my kit comes with a crown, so I'm going to attach this also. So I'm just going to add this blue felt inside and it gives a color and it's going to help the crown stick. So I'm going to twist it so it pops into the crown and then with my needle I'm just going to stab it through the gaps so it tangles in with the poodle's head. After doing some touch-ups, I'm finally done with my second noodle felting piece. Yes, I think I'm addicted to making these little furry friends. They're easy and fun to make and they make a great do-it-yourself gift idea as well. Guaranteed to brighten up your home and make you happy. I hope you guys enjoy getting crafty with me. For the next noodle felting video, we'll share how to make a little cute schnauzer together. Until next time, take care guys.